Good afternoon, SHS, and welcome back. I'm Mia Garcia. I'm Landon Southern. And I'm Ella Troop. And will everyone please join us for a moment of silence. And now Landon will lead us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And you may all be seated. Um, the weather. Uh, weather will be cold the rest of this week and into the weekend. Highs will only reach the 50s, so it's going to stay cold. Ooh. And since in baseball hosts um, their tournament Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so they're probably out there right now. Freezing. And also softball is in Dripping Springs right now, where it's... There's like, it's probably going to snow, to be honest. So just, you know, keep the outside sports in y'all's thoughts and prayers. It's and not going luck. too good. Yeah, tennis good luck too. to everyone. Tennis oh, tennis too. Yeah, and tennis. Okay. Um, it is National FFA Week. What is FFA, you may ask? FFA is an I intracurricular student organization for those interested in agriculture and leadership. It is one of the three components of agricultural education. We celebrate this week the success. Our, we celebrate this week the success our organization has had almost 100 years. It's a long time. Our very own Senate FFA chapter was chartered in 1935 and is still going strong. This week, in celebration of National FFA Week, head over to our Senate FFA Facebook and Instagram to see all of our FFA facts, ag facts, and officer spotlights, advisor spotlights, and Senate FFA member spotlights. We have a lot to be proud of, and we want to share it all with you. And speaking of. I have some fun hog or pig facts to share with y'all, okay? Um, the average person will eat 20, 240-pound pigs in their lifetime. That's a lot. Wait, what? Um, insulin is made from a pig's adrenal gland and helps people with diabetes lower their blood sugar. Um, in the olden days, ship captains kept pigs on board because they believed that pigs always swam towards the nearest shore. Oh my gosh, would they like throw? Would they throw them off the ship and make them swim? No, if they the sank. ship sank, they would like oh, the pigs would swim sense. towards the nearest shore, and so they'd follow the pigs. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and there are more than 180 species of pigs found on every continent except an Antarctic. Um, pigs don't sweat, also, which is crazy. That's why they lay in. Yeah, that's why they lay in mud. Um, oh, wow! A little foreshadowing into our thought of the day. Um. Okay, and then the dress-up days. Um, February twenty-fourth is put on your boots for Western Day, so that's today. Make sure you're wearing your boots. And tomorrow is show your FFA spirit, so wear blue and gold. And a couple of announcements and reminders. All juniors will take the SAT test on March 2nd. Seniors, if you're wanting to take the SAT, you have to mm -hmm. sign up. So please email Mrs. Ivy if you would like to do so. And don't forget that prom is Saturday, March 26th. The theme is Masquerade. Tickets will be $15. It will be held at the Civic Center, which is at the fairgrounds. And if you want more information, you can contact your junior class sponsors. And of course, don't forget about our weekly club meetings. And as we near the two year anniversary of COVID turning our world upside down, it is still with us. So wash your hands, social distance, do whatever you need to do in order to keep you and your family safe. And yesterday we forgot, well, I didn't forget. I wasn't on the announcements yesterday, but um, they forgot to mention that um, it was the anniversary of the beginning of the 1836 siege at the alamo so hello would you like to yes enlighten us please? day two wednesday february 24th 1836 it was known as the river battery the defenders were busy that night as well they had captured at least one mexican soldier and six pack mules during a nighttime patrol on this day Colonel Travis sends his famous victory or death letter. The letter closes with Travis's vow of victory or death, an emotion which has been both praised and derided, derided. derided by historians. The letter was initially entrusted to courier Albert Martin, who carried it to the town of Gonzales, some 70 miles away. Wow, fascinating. And as always, we'll end things off with the thought of the day. <clears throat> Never wrestle with pigs. You both get dirty and the pig likes it. 
from George Bernard Shaw. And a little bit about the man. Um, he... What does that word say? Insistence? Insistence. Known at his insistence simply as Bernard Shaw was an Irish playwright, critic, polemicist, and political activist. His influence on Western theater, culture, and politics is extended from the 1880s to his death and beyond. Um, would you like to... Um, basically what it's saying is don't argue with stupid people because they'll just drag you down to your level and beat you with experience. Um, and they enjoy it. They enjoy conflict. So yes. just avoid conflict. Don't start conflict with people who like it. Yes. Yes. You'll never win. You'll never win. As always, thanks everyone for watching. Um, good luck to all the sports that are happening this week, this weekend. We hope you all have... And Akadek. Oh, yes. That's a sport. Great. Smart people sport. I wouldn't know Don't about it. Don't give us that I much credit. I would not know anything about it. Um, hope everyone has a... What? Today's Thursday. Thoracic. A Thoracic Thursday. Go Pirates. Go Pirates.